Let's see now how to debug a geometry using the geometry editor. We are considering a very big geometry, almost 2 kilometers long, that has error. The error found message is present. If we would debug this geometry by hand, that would be extremely time consuming and painful. The geometry editor can simplify these tasks very much. We can zoom in and try to search for errors. So you see that errors are highlighted in red, so we have already found our first error. It's also possible to look for errors using the icon Show Errors in Geometry. This will pop up the geometry error list. You see that the errors are numbered and clicking over the number will zoom on that error, like in this case. So we try now to see what's the reason for this error. We click over this area and we see that in the object list box two reasons are highlighted, horn hair and horn high and CO. Horn hair is this part here in aluminum, while horn hair is this part here in air. So if we click here, we see that this part belongs to both zones 19 and 20. If we highlight zone 19 in the property list box, we see that this is part of the area and zone 20 is this part. So it seems that zone 20 should end over this plane here, rather than this plane here that instead is selected. How can we fix this? We select the new plane, we deselect the old plane, we press D to define a zone, and we click. As you can see now, the errors found message disappeared. Nevertheless, our geometry still has error. As soon as we zoom out, the geometry editor tells us that he has detected more errors. We use the show errors in geometry property, and here we have it. So we click and we zoom. So here we are. Let's zoom out a little bit to understand where we are looking at. Look also at the dimension. Here we have 1890 centimeters, 0 0.00001, so it's extremely, extremely small. I'm zooming out using the mouse wheel, and you see now where the error is. That would be very impossible to see by high the error. I zoom in, and then I realize that this part here is not belonging to any region. So I can add this either to this. R0074 region in aluminum or to this region 0071 in air or this horn air port. I decided to add this zone to the horn air port. So I double click in order to select the zone. Then I need to add this part here. How do I do? I select this plane, holding down control and left mouse button. And now that I have deselected the body, I can redefine the zone. I press D, the whole zone is alighted, and I click. Now I press S key to deselect, and the arrow disappears.